my god, line up! <laughs> back to God, you know, because he giving me something, something that I worked for, but it wasn't really me who achieved uh, everything, got all the awards and everything, it was God, God gave it to me, because I gave him glory. The difference between me and the rest of the players, the prayers I say before the game, the prayers I say before the play, I knew I was the only one out there praying. So, I'm giving God, God the glory. So, he just gave it back to me. Shine his light upon me. Since I've been training with Coach Kamazi, my mother have noticed that my attitude has changed. I've been more disciplined, haven't talked back. Every time she tells me to do something, I do it fast. I say yes, ma'am. I'm Javier Godinez's father. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, thanks to Kamazi for all the training he's given my son. Uh, more than training, it's been a lot of spiritual. It's made him so much stronger as a human being. Uh, there's something here in Kamazi's training that you don't get, I want to say, anywhere else. You know, it's basically the mentality. As a son, he's a lot more responsible. I don't have to tell him twice to do things, you know. Before it was like Javier, Javier, Javier. Now it's like Javier, boom, he's up. You know, and that's something uh, that I gotta thank Mazi for because he is on it now. You know, and when it's time to be a good son, he's a good son. But when he's out in the field, man, he is a silverback. Good job, Akili. Good, 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 good. That a coach may like that she wasn't doing before. It may be that little thing that you're doing. That's what we are here working on, that, that mental. You get them those, those small things, you get what I'm saying? Because they add up. They add up like small sticks. They add up into a big pile. Show me the hips. Good work. Two more. I'm out here and work hard every day. I just need to work on when I get tired, just staying strong. Like my fatigue, I want to bend over. And, I mean, but I never had nobody really on me. I mean, you just got to stay in the right state of mind and block off. Everybody that's not trying to help us succeed. That's why I start messing with a lot of people where I'm from because, I mean, dude, all they want to do is smoke and talk about nonsense, game and shit that I grew up around. And I see where that path leads you to. So, I mean, it's no reason to go down that same road. I mean, I'm just trying to get out here and I want to make it, man. I'm hungry. Any negativity I have on and off the field, it's already written. So it just clears your mind of so much. It clears your mind of so much space. You have so much. Just it's it's precious. I can't explain it, but I mean it's it's already written. So I mean that's that's my big deal. It's already written. So no fear, no doubt. I'm good. In God's name, though. That's it. It's a great experience. You know, I'm glad we met each other. It's probably one of the best dudes I ever met. I always felt like I wanted to get closer to God. But I found, I found that uh, Kumasi made it the perfect situation for me as relating God with football. So, we, I, you know, he just teaches us that it's not all about just playing the sport of football. It's about praising God. We talk about uh, revving up, just, just taking our game to a higher plateau. And then he works us out physically, you know, he pushes our body to a higher peak that I never re reached before. And, you know, he's, and one thing I learned from him, one thing that stuck with me from the first time we met was that it's already written. Yeah. I got better every day. That's what I live by too. You know, I feel like before this, I, I beat everybody. Like nobody can touch me. Now it just boosts my confidence more. There's nobody in front of me can beat me. And I just know that now. And just going into uh, as far as like the road rage and whatnot, man. I mean. It, sometimes I want to cuss people out, man, when I'm on the road. Sometimes I get frustrated. Sometimes I'm in a mall. and Sometimes I'm, I'm somewhere buying something. And people will be rude for no reason. But it's like I have to just remember that. You know what I'm saying? I just think about my training. I'm like, God. What? Get to me. Get to me. <sighs> Ten jumps right now. Frog leaves. Let's go. Ten. Keep the rhythm. 
To your feet. To the hill. This homie with my speed. I respect my elders now. I say yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I told him that I wasn't going to do it because I respect my body. I respect myself. I respect my parents and my coaches. And I knew that if I was to smoke marijuana and I was to do drugs, I would harm my body and my athletic ability to be a football player. And my character is a lot better than what it used to be. I have high self-esteem and I have better morals. I see myself as a lion. God. Yeah. 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 You met right on time. Man, it's crazy because I was just talking. He's doing it for the good of us. And, and I seen that in you. You you going to build my character up. And I thank God for that. Because if he didn't place you at that time, man, I'm telling you, that day, <laughs> I was going to do something stupid. I was going through a lot to where I almost was thinking about killing myself. You know all that gang banging, all that smoking, all that, it's, it's stupid. It, it wasn't doing nothing but hurt me and bringing me down. I felt like I was a disgrace, like God looked down on me. God did that. And I just thank him, man. Thank you. And, and, and I want to get closer with you, and I want to build something with you, man. And I want us to really work on that. Because I respect you as a man. I respect you. I respect the God in you. Go, go, go.